He was feeling like a real pedophile right now. Oh, wait. Wrong of you to do that intro. <laughs> I didn't even think about that Did before I even, said it. Didn't even <laughs> register. <laughs> Wow. I'm sorry. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions. It's up, Corbin. That was perfect. <laughs> and you can follow us on Instagram. We're going to go. We're going to go. Hey, Patreon. What's happening? And if you're like, is there something different going on? Yes. Yes. Shah Rukh Khan is hanging upside down behind us. That's true. That's and that's the, the only thing to notice here. There's nothing, nothing else, else to see here. Here. Nothing at all. Today, we're doing a movie review. And this is of the new film that is actually currently still in theater. Yes, it is. Uh, called Gar Gargi. Gargi? Sure. Uh, Sounds good to me. Gar That's what I would do. Gargi? I'd call it Gargi. Uh, it's a 2022 film directed by, say his name for me, please. Gautam Ramachandran. Who is also one of the writers as yes. well. And then starring uh, Sai Palavi, if I'm mispronouncing that, please forgive me as always. And then. And uh, Kali Venkat, R.S. Shivaji. Yeah. Um, Kavila Krishnan, Sai Saravanan. It's 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 her film uh, mostly. Um, yeah, it's and, her character story. Uh, the way we're actually viewing this because it actually did not come to, to at least LA because uh, obviously it's a smaller Tamil film uh, and so we don't always get those. Sadly, I did reach out to the director because I heard a bunch of really good things and I was like, hey, sometimes. Sometimes they're willing to send us some screeners, yeah. and he was. Yeah. And so I want to thank him thank uh, you. for sending that to us. This is not a paid review. We don't do those, as we you don't guys do that. know. But I just I want to shout out whenever people are that kind to yeah. actually do that for us. Because yeah. we, we hate missing stuff because we don't get in theaters, but obviously we know it happens because... We're not the main demographic, obviously. Right. The, and it costs no, a lot of money, to, lot put, of money so, to distribute to it. To put stuff in theaters. Yeah, of so, course. So, um... Nonsense. Uh, non spoiler. At the yeah, front. it's going to do most, uh, mostly, uh, mostly non spoiler. And then if we get into some spoils. Because it's still in a theater. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll let you know uh, before we get to the spoils. Um, but um, go watch it. It's in theaters right now. At least, uh, hopefully, I, mean, I know in Tamil it'll be in, in theaters. In theaters, but, yeah. Uh, 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 elsewhere around India, I don't know how prevalent it is, so just look it up. Yeah. Um, but Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, and because we got a screener, it always gives you another level of hope. Like we've said, we always hope a film's going to be good just because we never, who wants a bad film? Mm -hmm. And then you add another level if it's somebody that we know, like who's a dost, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like if the more most recent dost that we've seen and actually been spending time with is Anurag. So yeah. when he does a film, you're really rooting for it because you don't want to have a bad review and you're going to be honest. So when a director sends you the actual film, you're really hoping, please, <laughs> please, I don't, right. thankfully, <laughs> I love this movie. This is a very good film. This, for me, in my rating system, for those of you who know, so I do like my my five stars based on the first one being if it's entertaining and engaging, if it's educational, if it's excellent, if it's enlightening, and then it's if it's all. essential. This is five stars. Yeah. This this thing, if you have not seen it and you can go see it, please support, support this film. Theater, support go cinema. see this movie. I, I was talking to another director who actually has um, done just this year some... Um, film that was in theaters, but um, it wasn't like a KGF or an RRR right, kind of film. Right, right. And he was saying that the next two years, you're going to see almost nothing going to theaters outside of big budget stuff. That's just he's yeah. Like, I hope that's it, not the case. But nobody's putting money behind anything. Uh, understandably, big budgets right understandably. now. Understandably, because that's where the Indian audience is. And that's where the international audience is right now. It's like go big or go home. It's just unfortunate because you want yeah. these small creators. Uh, I say small creators, but the ones that just don't have the funding that the other ones have. Right. To be seen uh, and for them to keep making their art because right this is art and and thankfully. And it did well in the box office. It wasn't just a awards conversation, but a film like Coda, yeah. which was a tiny film. It's Sony's first Oscar-winning thing. And it was loved and beloved and won multiple Oscars, including Best Picture. That bodes very well. And I'm, I'm, I know it's always been this way, that people like us who love cinema and whose heart beats for this kind of film as the core and foundation of all movie-going experiences... I believe there will always be an audience for this no matter what. I just pray that that audience remains in theaters, yeah. not just going to OTT. So go support it. It's, yeah, it's absolutely deserving of a watch. 
uh, it's it's uh, it's. I don't want to say an easy watch. It's a tough. It's 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 a tough subject uh, that that they're dealing with here. It really is. But it's an engaging story. And and it's directed and written very 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 well. Yeah, I got a ton. Of, I got a ton of notes. Which um, a lot of them I can I can go without us spoiling stuff. Uh, who do you do you want to start with? Let's start obviously as we always do. Let's start with her. Uh, Sai is that the pronunciation? I, I don't know the actual correct pronunciation of her name. I don't know if it's Sai or Sai or maybe um, there's a third way that so, I would like to know because this is not not our first time seeing her work. No, we saw her in pretty. I don't even remember who she was in that film. Actually, I'm gonna be. Wasn't she the lead? Was she? I thought she was. Yeah. I, I just don't. Re- I don't recall. Yeah. Um, in pretty pretty mom. L- yeah, pretty mom, which is l- translated to love. Yeah. The, um, the, the butterfly. The butterfly movie. Uh, Mali Allen butterfly film. Um, but so we had seen her there, and then I think the other thing more recently we saw her in was that uh, epic uh, trailer that was extremely violent where, you know, she kept stabbing yes, people. Yes, yes, That we yes. never actually, we missed that yeah. one uh, this year. <laughs> that we loved. Yeah. Yeah, where she's just... <laughs> so it looks like this is like a an actress who really cares about not stardom, but more... I may, Maybe I'm wrong. And we're just getting kind of really introduced to her. Yeah. But man, is she up there already with, yep. I think, some of the greats uh, in, in, that are currently acting for actresses yes I'm, I'm automatically like sh- this is an oscar worthy performance that she yeah, put on here i agree she carries this film the last film that we've seen where an actress just was the the iron rod supporting the whole thing was I for, I for, i'll forget the title but it's the one we just saw with taboo that where she was much younger and she played the dancer oh uh chan 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 janini bar yeah something. there you go whatever I yeah it. <laughs> that 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 is um i agree i you're, you, it's Iga is flying out. Here. You'll find yeah, Iga's here, upstaging everybody. Uh, <laughs> take a take a take it easy, pal. Um, your sequel's coming. Uh, but sh- we say this about great actors, and this is to me the highest compliment you can give to anybody. People could do it different, but they're not going to do it better. No. And I don't know that I would want to see a different interpretation of no. this role. No. I, I I think she does. I can't imagine. They, being the director and writer and, and producers and everybody, aren't absolutely thrilled with her performance because yeah. she is this character. Yeah, and if they, I, I don't want them to, but like, let's say I put it in the category of actresses that we already love. Like if they did it in Hindi, look, once I'm, again, I'm not saying I want them to. I don't want no, them to not just touch you it. go watch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. But it doesn't need did, to be I, redone. I would do it like for actresses like Delotama, uh, Rasika, yeah. uh, Radhika, Radhika. Uh, all those actresses. Who are at the top that, of the game. That we love. Yep. She's right there now. Because yep. I, and I want to see a lot more of her work because yep. I think she's she's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Carried this yeah. film. The emotional availability she carried throughout the film was incredible. And I would really love if if those who watch the channel and are predominantly enjoy watching Hindi cinema would see this and not hope and wait for a Hindi remake. No. Because this deserves to be given the attention, both in the dollars to support it so more films are made like it, but you ought to see it. Mm-hmm. It's it's an important story with an important message. So it has that rare combination of being both elevative in its artistic merits, but it also is there in terms of you walk away with being reminded of some things mm-hmm. and also being reawakened about some stuff or awakened for the first time about the way things are. And I feel like it's very much a regional you you could translate this to somewhere else and change it, mm-hmm. but I like that it is set where it is yeah. in the language and the culture yeah. and the people. I think that's important and it ought not be changed. Yeah, I it, agree. it should be supported as it is. And the other actor that I thought uh, and they all did really really well. Everybody was but great. Kali, uh, I, come on, I really enjoyed his performance. I I wrote <laughs> I wrote this down. He had such a sweet demeanor about himself. I wrote this down about. Everyone, and it was at a point with him, Mm -hmm. halfway through the film, I wrote down, everyone is wonderfully ordinary, Mm -hmm. just ordinary people. No one's performing, no one's, everybody's just like a fly on the wall. (laughs) Um, I'm going to have to kill Everybody is here. wonderfully ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. He did so well. And I don't know if he actually has a stammer. Yeah. But it was, it was a, if he, if he, if it's not a stammer, I thought he did a really good job of doing a convincing, uh, very convincing performance at that. And he, he brought such a, 
innocence, a sweetness to this horrific situation. Yeah, like uh, in, in like in the courtroom scene, which were, were great. The the uh, the guy Pee Pee, I think, is the yeah, other guy, the guy did a uh-huh. great job. But then the, the judge as well. Love, love the judge, the ju- which I feel like we'd seen her before. I I wonder. I I feel like we had two. I don't know where, but I loved both the character, the way it was written. Mm-hmm. And the in, the interpretation of the character. Very yeah. believable. Great writing throughout. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, really, really enjoyed all those. And then obviously everybody else did really well as well. But like the, 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 the dad. Accused, the, uh, what's his name? The, the victim's dad. Victim's dad. Yes. Um, he had some magical moments, I thought. And that's a, that's a tough role. Because you've got, you got to put yourself is. in an awful place. You do, and you have to be. You have to be careful about, and this this I think this comes from the person you cast, because, um, you can go too far with your sense of pain and hurt and anger and vengeance and become the antagonist, mm-hmm. and he, as you get scared, and you understand, it's like, why shouldn't he be that angry? Yeah. Why shouldn't he be that on the edge? Yeah. You know, but he easily could have, he could have either been cliche. Mm -hmm. He could have not been connected to his emotions and you'd seen him doing the fake wipe a tear away when he's really not feeling it. And that's, I I believed every moment he was on, on screen. It's a hats off to the the director. Gotham. 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 Gotham, I I assume that's the pronunciation. Everyone was like that. Include like the, the, the main police officer. Yeah. I thought did a, I I thought he did a great job. One, his, he's a really interesting look. I I was really captivated when he was on screen. Um, so shout out to the, that actor as well. He had a, he had a, he had a uniqueness to him that is carried by like a KK Menon yeah. kind of uniqueness. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He had something going on behind his eyes, right, and, right. and nobody was playing a villain in this, uh, even though. Well, I, I guess that outside of the the four rapists, but they, they the perpetrators they believe it really in the story that much. No, because they're not. This 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 film is so loaded with symbolism, which we can get into in a second in the spoiler section. But I loved the fact that the antagonist is really the situation Mm -hmm. i also loved thank you thank you thank you for your magnificent screenwriting Hmm. all exposition was shown there wasn't any anytime there were a few moments where exposition was given in the text but it was justified Hmm. there was a reason for the person saying it other than just we're going to inform the audience right now it was intelligent screenwriting yeah um, and they, I feel like he took his time. Yep. Even though I felt like this went pretty fast. Uh, Great for, pacing. For, for a two hour, for, 14 minute film or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it had, while I think it's probably, and this was a long time ago, I, I think it probably has the same feeling as Court, but it had a quicker clip to it in the pacing yeah. than Court. Yeah, there was. Uh, Court was just like I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna show you nothing. I'm gonna watch you. Yeah, we're gonna watch paint dry. <laughs> but it's it's a Which beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Nothing wrong with court, but just different. It's a very different thing, and I think because of that, this would probably be a bit more engaging for people that this isn't their cup of tea, and as far as genre is concerned. Yeah, I think the fact that they kept it going at a really good clip throughout, kept everything moving forward, mm-hmm. um, kept it suspenseful kept you wondering and everybody is so believable and engaging that it just it 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 has a uniformity to its pacing from start to finish i don't feel like it ever lagged or it ever tried to get beyond I, itself i mean a composer is govind vasantha right beautiful uh i love the score there was only beautiful it was my biggest gripe with the film and there was just one moment it was right before the interval there was a musical montage that i just didn't feel fit like it, it almost went into okay. Like I a, get it. A, a yeah, Indian I get it. Song kind of thing for this that one. It was like to a four conclude the first first half kind of thing. Yeah, I get it. See, I was like, I just don't feel like this is that kind of film that you should put. That it just didn't I understand feel that. as good as the rest. I not that it was. It didn't ruin the film. Love the film. Go see the film. It's amazing. And it, it didn't. That didn't bother me. Yeah. But I can see how yeah, you would have just, a particular. It's actually the same way. I, it's very different because it was a very different song. But like in in Satya, when when Vishal the, yeah. the in his song that he put on for uh, uh, the bar song. Right. I was like, this just doesn't feel this like doesn't, that kind of film. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I get I the comparison. It. It's great. It's yeah. awesome. But the sc- overall background score, it was so a lot of good. like cello, violin, beautiful, really gorgeous. So much, so much connectivity in the musical choices 
to the emotion of what was going on on screen and what was being mostly the times that stuff was shown because there's a lot of moments where you don't have any sound but score and it's beautiful and the choice of instrumentation or lack thereof it's i had this thought throughout that it was very clear that this writer director loves film and loves making film and this composer loves scoring because you don't you don't get this quality of film and score unless the artists doing it love what they're doing he also composed 96 oh wow <laughs> Not a surprise. Which is a great score and yeah, great this, film. This is a standout. Like, if this was a film that I was screening for SAG Awards, or score doesn't work for SAG Awards, but let's say that we were making our picks for what we wanted to see nominated, mm -hmm. this would be one of those films I would be the little, the little engine that could. It would be one of those films I'm like, I hope the Academy doesn't forget this film because mm -hmm. it needs multiple nominations and score would be one of them, director would be one of Her. them, actress would be one of them. Uh, actor, the yeah. supporting actor, the dad. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't even surprise me. It wouldn't even surprise me if her dad got a. Uh, I thought he was perfect. Her dad. Oh yeah. I thought his face, everything about him was exactly like you wanted. You wanted. Well, I didn't. I don't want to give anything away. I uh, exactly. Um, we'll get into that in the spoilers. But yeah, let's get into spoilers now. If you haven't All right. seen the film, just go watch please it. Please go watch this movie. Uh, in theaters, if it's available around you, it was not for us, sadly, here. Uh, and so maybe that's the case for a lot of people. I don't know, because I don't know how big the distribution for a small film like this was. Yeah. That's ex it's expensive to do that. And so you understand why it's not widely distributed. Right. It's just sad. Um, so if you can go watch it, please go watch it. Don't wait for OTT. Go support it. Because then they'll make more films like this, correct? And not just and release them in theaters, not just the KGF is in, which is they're great and it's wonderful. We're we not want them saying all. anything bad about those, but we also we don't just want those in theaters. We want correct all good cinema, which was really encouraging here on on the state side. Um, Elvis was the first non superhero movie or action film to pass a hundred million dollars in I don't know how long, so that's an encouraging sign for box office. No, why? Rise of Gru. Well, those don't count. <laughs> you know, those always make money. You know, those All are, Disney Pixar films always make you money. You know, the, the, that franchise is the highest grossing animated franchise of all I, time. I heard that with this release. But th that, that was before this release. That, oh, Even really? It was. This release, it was. I didn't know that. I thought this release most, did that. It was it's, it's funny. But anyway. Anyways. But uh, yeah, we'll okay, so spoiler. spoiler time now. Did you see it coming? Yeah, it's anyway. If you ever watch it, we're going to get into spoils. Like big this spoils. This is big spoil. What he just asked me is a massive spoiler. Do not watch if you have not seen this film. Thank you. Thank you. Did uh, you see it coming? No. No, oh, really? Yeah, you, you uh, probably did. I was questioning it the entire time. Yeah, I, of I'm, course you were. I mean, that's kind of normal for me. Because like, if somebody says, no, he didn't do it. I'm like, but eh, what if he did? <laughs> right. He what probably if, did. He's probably lying. Right. Eh, I was actually, but throughout, I was hoping he wasn't. Me yeah. too. And I really didn't think he was because they did a lovely trick by ending the film before they ended the film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, this is what I think it is. I'm taking it at face value. Mm -hmm. um, but I was, <laughs> I, 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 where I was at the time, I had it on my laptop and I had gone, TMI, I had gone to the bathroom with the laptop and I was watching it and I told Indrani <laughs> I had just 10 minutes left to watch the film. And I walked and I stopped in the doorway and I just stood there and I went, oh, wow. <laughs> There's a twist. And I just finished watching it right there standing in the doorway going, wow. Because I, I did not expect the twist at the very, mm. very end. Um, yeah. And I, I... I you liked like, it. Do you like to stay blissfully ignorant? In a I film? love. Yes. I, I mean, I, I would too. It's just I'm too big of a skeptic and a cynic. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm too big of an optimist. And so because <laughs> I am an optimist. That is the opposite. Of I am <laughs> always believing and hoping for the best in people. So when they deceive me, I expect, I'm betrayed. I, I expect the worst. Exactly. People. Which is which is why you tend to not be surprised when the evil comes out at the end. And I tend to be Although deeply shocked. I did, like I said, I was rooting for him to not right, right, and but I thought the actor did a phenomenal job. He was and, wonderful. And it was great casting because you 
he just looks like somebody you want to root for. He looks like a sweet old man. Beautiful, sweet face. Looks mm-hmm. that is the last guy you would expect to do anything. And then obviously bad. she did a really good job. Uh, and, and, and 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 the relationship was beautiful. And and the scenes that needed to be their best were so like the build up to when she finally goes to visit him in prison. Mm-hmm. In the back of my mind, I went, okay, let's see what you got here because this is this is a critical scene. How are we going to do this? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was amazing. I loved. I love that she couldn't look at him. Mm-hmm. And I loved her emotion when she, she had was that there. little doubt. Yep. And the, I thought he was absolutely believable. He's trying to get the information, but he's also being sensitive to the situation that they're both in. It's a really... I mean, this is not the, like the first rape film, obviously. There's, there's, there's a ton. ton of them, right? ton. It's, but this is... And it's like Delhi Crime is a series based on gang rape. This is an interesting take because it's basically there's the message is like you have to do what's right, even yeah. if it's not good for you. Absolutely, or the ones you love, there is a right here. There is right and wrong. <laughs> yeah, and even if the person you love yes. is the wrong, yes, it, you need to do what is right. Yes, uh, and so it's a really obviously a great message, but the one that a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't listen to yeah because no they they would be like mm, mm, that's, that's my, my dad. dad right which is the wrong wrong well, thing to do whoever yeah fill in the blank yeah and so it's even though you, you you'd think that everyone should be on the same page <laughs> for like yeah even if it is my dad he should be punished for what he did and right. held accountable for the evil right that he decided to Take part in correct, um, and face the consequences for it. Yes, yeah, and so I that I like that aspect a lot. The, yeah, the I fact do too. That, that that's one of the overall messages. Yeah, of the film. Yeah, um, as opposed to it just being a random person that she didn't know or he was correct or whatever. Uh, it, it was took the hard route. Yeah, uh, of yeah. The it film. really elevates. It raises the stakes, and that's one of the most important things in storytelling. Is what is it in this situation that you can do, especially if you're writing? Uh, what is it you can do to raise the stakes, um, to, to, to make a sense of urgency eminent and danger eminent and have it be justified? Uh, it's one of the reasons I, I remember when I was writing Barbarian, I had first put it just as a basic one person show in an, in, and there wasn't any sense of urgency. And I went, there's something that's missing. And one of the things that was missing was the sense of danger and stakes being raised. And that's where I placed it in the freaking dungeon the very night before execution. You've raised the stakes when you do that. So mm-hmm. making it a dad raises the stakes and complicates the moral conundrum. Yeah. Um, some of the things I wrote just on a technical side was that, yeah, that was one of the, it wasn't a really long one, but it was one of the best continual shots in an, in a, in a unknown action sequence when he's being escorted out Oh yeah, and they first arrive and they come up and then a girl's talking to a reporter and then they go to somebody else and then they come and then it gets to someone's back and then it comes around and then she's walking down the street. That was a really nice continual shot. Yeah, I agree. Um, the rape sequence was magnificently shot. Ooh, yeah, tough watch, man. It, and obviously, it was tastefully done for for the sub. It was Hitchcockian, and that it left more to the imagination. Uh, obviously, no one ever wants to really see no. a rape scene. It's no. it's one of the some some obviously sex scenes. It's it's sometimes it's needed to show that on screen. This is just that's just something that's ridiculously hard to watch, especially with it being a child. You never, yeah, exactly. You, you don't actually want to show anything. That's it's, it's very hard. It's it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. Grotesque if you actually show something like that with a child, right? So I thought the way he decided to shoot it was very tasteful, very tasteful, uh, and, and but still it also hard. Conveyed the horrificness. Yep. Like, I, you don't need to see a lot as to was, know how horrific what, exactly what is going on is. As was the intentionality with which her testimony moment has trembling hands and feet and she's obviously reliving the trauma because we get a quick flashback of the trembling hand Mm -hmm. as she's being raped and her hands are trembling while she's standing in the court Mm -hmm. just impeccable direction yeah spectacular direction there were some things in the writing too this line destroyed me when the dad says she doesn't look at me as her father anymore she looks at me as a man yeah what a line 
What a freaking line. And, yeah. and what makes that line is not just how great it is on page. He delivered it with the reality of the emotion of what a father would feel in that moment mm -hmm. of this is, this is what happened to my daughter. Mm -hmm. And that moment when he also said she was, I know she was wondering, where's my superhero? Where's my dad? My dad's going to save me. Mm. And you see that in, in his character. But just magnificent. Uh, the, the thing I probably love the most in the direction and possibly about the film is the symbolism of liquid throughout the whole thing. So at the very beginning, you see... So remember when in the rape scene, there's the blood. Yeah. But we also see water. We see ink. We see oh, stuff yeah. going down drains. Yeah. And I wrote early on, I didn't catch that. liquids can be reflectively revealing or darkly concealing. They're parts of life begetting elements and they're parts of death dealing elements. And then later on I wrote, uh, the last one of the last images we see is another liquid and it's her tear running down her cheek. Mm, yeah. And then it ends with a final flowing liquid in the face of the victim. And I loved that the victim remained faceless throughout. And I... It obviously begets, because this is very much a movie, not just about the situation, but about women and the way women and children and, ch and children, little girls, especially yeah. little girls, have a much more difficult time uh, in in the world. And that obviously that is representative of a woman's menstrual cycle. And the moment that that happens, she is looked upon completely different by the world and this poor little girl the first time she ever had any kind of a flow wasn't by natural design it was by gang freaking rape mm. um it, it's just in, it's just pretty much impeccably good yeah cinema yeah i, I totally agree <laughs> and I'm, I'm so happy we actually got to see it so thank you once again to the director. yes and thank you for making such a good film <laughs> for, for the director <laughs> and obviously production for for allowing us to uh be sent a screener yeah um, and trusting us with that yeah thank uh, you because uh we we always want to be able to see good cinema and support good cinema and tell other people to go see good cinema because yes i feel like that's the core of osr are people that love cinema yep there's other things of so being stupid being silly being obviously loving big rrr and all yeah that. And, and loving indian, indian culture and, and but and all that kind of stuff but i feel like at the core that we, what we've always been is we loved really good cinema well it's how why we started yeah it started from our love of talking about film and being actors and the, the fights we'd have for every Oscar and ceremony. And obviously, I, I, I never expect these little films that we get to see, Hello, Rao, this, whatever. Yeah, this is get, in that category. To get views. Yeah. I just want to, to, to the little people that will care. I want to be able to share it and support it and uh, all that kind of stuff. And even if for some reason somebody doesn't support it in theaters, um, at least when it's available to be watched on OTT, support it and let this get some legs and, and at the very least give a good financial e return to everybody yeah. involved. Yeah, easily a top five Indian film of the year now. Agreed. Me. Easily. Agreed. Um, I don't know what it's going to kick out uh, from what my current top five of the year that came out this year uh, was, but it's easily in the top five just because of how good it was at all levels. Yeah, it's a, it's an it's an awards season yeah. film festival quality I mean, the two, if you're, cinema. If for, for Oscars, currently, if you're going the artistic route, it's either this or The Last Farmer. Those are the two that Agreed. You'll, you'll send. Agreed. If you're going popularity that I think you could win a lot, it's the RRR. Yeah. It, very different reasons, obviously, that, that why you'd send that because of the popularity that it has here. It, but if you're going the traditional, this is the best artistic film of the year, it's going to be this or it's going to be The Last Farmer. Uh -huh. and, and, and of those, I... I would lean hard. Well, this, this. one's a lot. Uh, this one has the, the that message. Yeah, this that. is this would this would be for me when we're talking about the highest purposes of cinematic artistry. This is my favorite of the year so far. Mm, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anyways, well, let us know what you thought about the film, which will be our next Tamil film, and for her as yeah, well. Yeah, want to see uh, everything Sai she's Palavi. done. Uh, please let us know what her next film of uh, <laughs> next film of her can't talk without his beard <laughs> down below <laughs> I actually really wanted to keep the mustache 